Hey everybody. So today is a really, really nice day. And I don't know, it's definitely a good day to use the imagination. So I uh, went driftwood collecting with the kids. I'm gonna, this is one of the five bags we collected. Um, what we're gonna do, we don't need to pour it all out. Um, we're gonna try to find one or two pieces to make something creative with. I, today all I have to, to do this with is we have this little saw to cut out any type of shape we want. Probably should get a pencil so you guys can see uh, as we make the piece what we need to cut out. Um, and I got three uh, very sharp uh, carving knives. Um, so I don't know. With the haven't come up with a that piece is pretty neat. You can hear the hummingbird it sounds great. I mean hummingbird <laughs> woodpecker. I guess that's what I want to make. What's nice about this piece is it's kind of like a blank slate, almost like a piece of paper. It's a little curved. trying to decide how exactly I want it to I think we're going to try a, a butterfly with this one um, it's because the curve on here will give the wings kind of like a neat uh, a neat look so I'm going to take the saw cut off the piece I don't need get the rough shape what's nice about the driftwood that we picked is it's all uh, fairly well seasoned um, none of it really has uh, it's all been dried pretty well. Hopefully it makes it easy to uh, to carve. I know there's easier ways to do this. We could use an electric uh, scroll saw. Um, but I kind of wanted to sit out on a nice day and just, just work on, uh, a little bit of this. Just have those two little pieces to cut. And so, this will be... that in right there. Boom, boom. Definitely been a long while since I've car really carved anything. Um, a long time ago, I used to do it a lot. Uh, it it is relaxing, but you definitely have to use your imagination on kind of how you want uh, want the piece to come out. And it doesn't always come out how you uh, envisioned. Also, sometimes the wood will chip. If you go too too fast, um, then you kind of have to go with uh, with the way the chip chip worked. Um, 
This is a little punky. My knife doesn't seem to... Where's my third knife? Oh, there it is. Let me try this a little exacto. Um, trying to carve the outsides of the wings. Definitely is a We'll have to add a, a body to this. We can do that with a... So... The way I'm envisioning it... If you guys can start to see the outline of the butterfly. So this would be the bottom, the bottom wing, bottom wing. Uh, we're making a cut here and then we'll probably trace it out to around like this and around like that to make the top wing. Probably cut these out just a little bit more and uh, then we'll get some sandpaper and sand this all down. But it is starting to take a little bit of shape. I need to cut the back part off. Hopefully this will come right off real fairly easy. One nice thing about using driftwood is it is super soft. But you want something that's not going to uh, to crack also. Uh, Alright. So we'll probably make a cut there. And we'll make a cut up here to start working in on that heart part of the anybody uh, wondering if uh, we ended up with any blisters from the garden no nope, hands are totally fine um, I don't know why I, I guess it's from not wearing gloves all the time that I uh, I don't tend to uh, mess my hands up too much this is as I Neighbor's dog is saying hi to somebody. Alright. So, what we're going to need to do... I think we're going to work on the bottom part of this a little bit more. Um, try to have this, uh, this all uh, shaved down into uh, its separate wings. And then we'll get to uh, we'll get to the top wing. It's, uh, the one side's easy to do and then you have to figure out how to flip it around because I'm not left or right handed almost have a uh, 
So, it, but the grain of the wood doesn't want to go up like that. It wants to come down because otherwise it would splinter. So. I think we want to take a little bit off this back end. Give it a nice... Uh, it's starting to look like a little bit of, bu of a butterfly. If you add, once we add the center, uh, center piece, I might actually do that with wire. Um, just because I kind of want to add with all these a little bit of my scrap that I've put together um, is kind of my thought. So, we, uh, it's actually, uh, I think we're going to plant the potatoes later today that I cut yesterday. Um, Hopefully, uh, hopefully the garden does well. It'll be, uh, it's been a couple years since I've had a really, really nice garden. Um, and I did do a little farming before, uh, I mean, I've probably was a farmer for five or six years before I, uh, got into, uh, the antiques full time. What was nice about the antiques is it always, uh, made it possible for me to do the farming just because it always seemed to cost more money, um, than, uh, than you ever made farming bills always added up and you still had to wait for everything to grow you can see we're trying to get the top wing carved out there we still have to shave that down just a hair it's nice as this is like a nice red oak or something so after we shave all this down it's going to be a nice red color the butterfly so I I'm pretty sure we'll add the copper wire instead of the brass wire to this one. I could saw this and it would be a lot faster. I'm just trying to get this sh my basic shape before I bring out the saw. Um, of where I want to go. You can kind of see the two little lines I have for the top wing. Alright, I'm just gonna if I save that top piece, we could always make something else with that. nice if anybody does want to make any of this at uh, home you could always uh, order all your uh, crafting supplies online um, the post office said that it's been busier or it's been as busy for them as uh, in at Christmas so everybody's still getting their packages and Definitely, uh, I thought about, uh, did it stay like that in, uh, in Italy, um, and had a few friends over there, and they said that they, the post office was still open, so I would think the post office will stay open here, too. Definitely helps with people getting their medicine and everything else. So, 
you can see I cut against the grain here and it made a made a little bit of flakes. So definitely want to figure out the way the grain of the wood's going. Um, I think we can make a little V with the saw right there, and then we can shape our uh, shape the top wings. Almost there. I had a uh, one of my good friends uh, just bought a paper collection. Um, Right before the, right before they shut everything down, and uh, he's given me the key to his uh, storage room to go look at it. Um, hopefully, I find a couple uh, really nice uh, boxes of postcards. He said that the gentleman collected uh, postcards and. Uh, stamps and movie posters so I'm actually kind of excited to uh, go look at this It'll be the first time in uh, several uh, several days or several weeks actually two weeks it's been since I've been able to go uh, find anything to, to shop for um, not that starting to get a shape I'm trying to figure out which way to carve the top so it doesn't uh, splinter on me it's taking its uh, you can see it's a little bit of flaking Probably just need to go up, straight up and down. That's what it looks like. I'll round that wing off. And round, and round this wing off. definitely getting there. I think we have to cut this out just a hair. Get some separation between the two wings. Hey Dar, how you doing? Here, let's see if you can guess what I carved so far. Still needs a little bit of work. What's it going to be? A heart. It looks like a heart, almost. A heel? Mm, almost. I still have a lot of work to do on it, I guess. It's something you see in the garden. What, a plant? A leaf? And it, it will, uh, almost looks like a flower right now. You're, uh... Carve this in, it should get better shape.
Here, Dark, come look one more time. I think I helped the shape a little bit. Right, it was healed. Well, here, look. It's just starting to. This is going to get. Clover. This is going to get carved out here, from here to here. And then this will get carved out a little bit more. And I'm trying to make two wings on it. So if it's got wings, what. Definitely very abstract if he can't see it yet. I'm trying to make a butterfly. Is it, it's not quite there though. Oh. Yeah. What is I think I need to cut that with the saw. The little saw definitely helps a lot, um, saves a lot of time from uh, from all the carving that you would, would have to do to get to uh, a little bit more. Like we have to take a little off of this wing. What does it look like? A butterfly. That's what I was trying for. I'm trying for a butterfly, but still need a. Sorry about that. I think we need to cut a little bit out of these. Be interesting how we add the copper wire to give it its uh, body. this back end off right there to give it its more symmetrical look on the wings. I think we're going to shave this down just right there. Hmm. 
I got a couple of little high points right there. Why we're lucky today, they all the weather uh, stations swore it was going to rain. Um, and it's just, it's just a really nice day today. So see the, kind of want to make it a little more symmetrical, we have to cut this corner off right here. Um, it's starting to look like something. So pretty sure what we're going to do is we're going to wrap the wire down like this um, and we'll make the antenna to give it a little body and I'm going to try to stick a, the pin back on first before I wrap the wire so that way the wire holds the pin back on is kind of my thought. So we'll glue the pin back and at least how I'm envisioning it. Don't know. Uh, don't know if it'll work that way. It's still early this morning. Um, Gabby's working on her schoolwork. there. Okay, just a hair off of this side too.
looks like I have to cut that little piece off right there. Well, what's nice is since this piece of wood started out as a little curve, it really gives it the perception of motion. I think this has to get cut out there. Hmm. I'm getting to where I'm almost happy with it. I have to I have to fix this point right here. Because once we add the wire, it should give it a nice uh And you can carve too much, because like if you start chasing things, sometimes uh, you'll lose all your s symmetry. Um, deep but yes it did. It's alright, gave it a nice Try to leave some of that red on the wings. All right, I think. I'm gonna go get some wire um, and see what uh, see what this looks like when we wrap it. See what else we need to add or uh, take away from. Maybe uh, a little off this corner.
I don't know. I'm liking it. It's not perfect, but it's... Doesn't need to be. I would say this is the first uh, time I've actually had time to sit down and carve anything in probably 10 years. But I have a lot of <laughs> a lot of carving tools just because I always uh, always enjoy it. feels like I should bring these points in just a hair more. It's looking like something to me. So, all right, I'm gonna go get my uh, wire and we'll see what happens. So, I guess it's, so, I'm gonna reuse this pin back. I brought a little nail, um, some, some glue, and, uh, but before I do that, I did bring, I have two little sanders. I used, uh, wood glue and some sandpaper on little, on these little sticks. So that way, uh, you get a nice, uh, you can get into all the little cracks. It works pretty, pretty darn good. Um, Use the rougher one first, and then we'll finish it off with the nice fine sandpaper. I don't, at least with uh, these, I don't want to take off all the little little marks. But it does clean up the edges real nice. Um, having that uh, on the little piece of scrap wood. Birds sound really nice right now. We'll 
use this fine sandpaper to just finish this off. All right, uh, I'm getting pretty happy with how that looks. Um, did bring, uh, grab some lamp cord wire out of my scrap pile and really don't need a lot of it. Uh, probably, probably two or three feet of four or five strands to to make the body on this one. Um, I don't, let's see, I guess that one's not wanting to cooperate. So, just untwisting that, hopefully it comes off right here. It's an almost. It's about a foot and a half. Probably could use just a little bit more. Um, we can always twist this at the end to make a nice little, uh, some nice little antennas for uh, the butterfly too. Um, should cut with this knife. There we go. All right, I'm gonna retwist that just a hair. This wire wrap should give the um, support to the pin. So I'm gonna put the pin on first, uh, have the back shaved down a little bit. Let's uh, use the coarser sandpaper. Just like that. Actually, it should probably go like that if we wanted the butter. It all depends. The butterfly might look nice like that, or I think we'll do it like up, to, up and down. So I'll carve that a little bit flatter right there. That pin should sit right in there. sanding. Um, I'm open up my glue, add just one little uh, drip of glue. Should uh, don't need a lot of glue. Especially since we're going to add the tack. Alright, there's our little drip of glue. Put the cap back on. Postman's here. Alright, and where did my little tack go? There it is. So I'll put the tack right in the middle. What's nice about the tack is should be able to just push it right in. Um, 
At least I was hoping I could push it right in. Nothing ever goes as you plan it. Use the side of the blade for a second and try to push. I guess I'll go with a little hammer. <laughs> All right, have a tiny, tiny hammer. And, of course, I split it. Oh well, it wasn't almost, should have pre-drilled the hole. Um, I might be able to just glue it back together real fast and uh, put the wire on we'll try that but that is definitely definitely rushed it and that uh the tack act, acted like a little uh little wedge and split it but luckily luckily we have glue should uh should close it right back up And where it's split, the other nice thing is it's exactly where I want to add the copper wire. So um, it's not a definitely not the end of the world. All right, I'm gonna let this set before I add the wire. So I let it sit with the after I glued it um, for a while. It. Uh, seems to be fine um, I'm going to add the wire uh, of course it got all tangled up you can tell the Sun now it moved a bit so it's definitely a uh, definitely nice out in the Sun all right I'm trying to line all these guys up somehow my wire got untangled. Alright. What I'm going to do is twist the wire. Try to make one uh We're going to leave a little um, probably just like that of the on the top. My plan is to wrap it um, three or four times. enough so I can make the mirror of that one and do a twist on the two and from there we just twist out the top and twist out the top making the two antennas of the of the butterfly. We'll take the extra little pieces of wire and wrap it around the base so that way everything stays together. Let's 
and then almost probably get a little pair of clippers and trim that. But in all, I'm not upset with how it's turning out. Uh, I think a little bit more sanding on the wings, and I'm going to call this mostly done for this pin. Um, happy that I don't see. Uh, don't see the where it snapped at. All right. I guess that's my first uh, first pin. We'll see if we get better. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you haven't yet, uh, leave me a message. Please be safe out there and uh, give somebody a call. Um, thank you. Peace. It's just the prettiest blue day, the sky out there today. Uh, sand it up. I don't know, that's kind of what I was going for. Um, I know I'll, they'll get a little bit better, but... Uh, I put the little BBD on the back and uh, I don't know, hopefully you thought it was a interesting video. Um, definitely kind of happy how it came out.